Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create a super cute t-shirt for my girls. Um, we are from Arkansas, so of course we are Razorbacks, so I created this shirt by myself. This cute little pig is in design space. Um, let me show you really quick where he's at, and he is free with access. Um, and you may not be a Razorback, but you could, you know, create your own, creating your own SVG file, or there may be something like a paw print, or something like that. So let me show you really fast, um, where I found him. So you come to images, and you type in pig. It was this one right here. Look at how cute. So I got this one. Now for the text here, I used PicMonkey, and I'm paying, I paid for that subscription. I believe it's like 30 something dollars a year, 40 something, whatever it is. But it makes it like, if you pay annually, which is super cheap, it's $3.99 a month. Or if you want to pay by month, it's like $7.99. And I've been using PicMonkey since when PicMonkey came out, like years and years ago. So to make the curve text or round text, you can do it over there and bring it into here. Let's go ahead and hit make it. And you're going to see them pop up here. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change all these. Hopefully it's not super. I know it's probably blurry. I don't know what's going on my camera. Uh, 12 by 24. And then we're going to come over here and we'll change this one to, oh, we, and we're going to mirror them all. Let me go back up here. So you're going to hit this button here to mirror them, and we're going to click 12 by 24. Just so it knows what mat we're on. 12 by 24, and it's already mirrored. I clicked that one. 12 by 24. And we're going to mirror it. So they are all mirrored. And then we're going to come to continue. And I've already got my machine on. We're going to choose our machine right up here, and we're going to choose the maker. Iron on, there we go. Iron on, and uh, the we do have it mirrored. Mirror is on. Let's go ahead and get started. Cut these out. I'll see you when we get over to the easy press. Now that we have all of our little pieces cut out, um, we are going to go ahead and weed them and then uh, get them down on our shirt. So I think I got that as even as I can get it to look. I think it's super adorable. I got my heat press heated up to um, 305 and it says 30 seconds and it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is probably go right in the middle and then I'll just kind of move around as I need to. So let's see if we can get it. And I may be able to fit it all in there. Um, it all actually went on there except for the eye, so just have to move it a little bit. Okay, let's push timer. Go. I'm going to give it that little bit of whatever they say to push. I don't feel like I'm really even doing anything. But just because, you know, you're a rule follower. So we are at 15 seconds, 14 seconds. I probably should have bought my camera up at a better angle, but that's okay. You guys get the gift. 
So we're going to do this part at five seconds, four seconds. Okay. So let's go ahead and come up and do this. So let's start. And we're working at the top. And the only piece I missed was the eye, the little tiny piece at the top. So I probably didn't even need to do all of this. I'm kind of wondering if I should have just found a way to kind of go over that little dot. But it's okay. Nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds, four seconds, two, one. Okay, let's see. So let's go ahead and go over this bottom half one more time just to make sure that we got everybody and everything. So we're going to push, oops, start, and just go over everything. And I almost would have made it in frame if it wasn't for that tiny little dot. Um, it would have all been in the frame, so it's pretty cool. Or would have all been on the heat press, if that makes sense. 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 8 seconds. And I'm using this with my Steady Betty. So, now let's go ahead and cool it down like they do. Okay. Yeah, let's get that back out there. Let's see. There's that one, and there's this one, how exciting, way too cool. That was a lot easier than using my regular iron. I'm so glad, because I almost ordered a heat press, I didn't even know, you know, who knew that Cricut was coming out with something, but so glad I did not, because I do not have the room for all that, and I got a little piece of this guy on my black and I'm hoping it's not going to tear. It's wanting to tear my little exclamation mark from where I got this plastic piece from the pig part on it. I will be super sad. Work with me. Oh no. Hopefully that does not do that. Did I maybe get it underneath it? I think, yes, when I put it down, I accidentally got it on top. How silly of me. How did I do that? I, oh, when I moved the letter. So I ended up getting, I ended up ironing this on top of this plastic. Let's see if I can't take it off. It is what it is. I'm just going to have to cut that little piece right there. Uh, FYI, be careful. That's okay. So what I did was when I moved my pit or my lettering here to adjust it, I adjusted it right on top of the piece of plastic. But it's okay. My exclamation mark is still there. Still good enough. So no big deal. Isn't that cool? All we have left is our glitter. Now the glitter is supposed to be 340, so let's bump it up to 340. 340. And Let's see, now we're going to put on our cute little glitter pig. So, let me line this up really fast. Let me come over here and look. Let me look at my tail. I'm going to go ahead and protect these guys like so. 
because uh, I can't think here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and protect these guys since it's at a higher temp. We're going to go ahead and protect our little guys. Okay. Here we go. So, um, and this is supposed to be 20 seconds. I, oop, I almost changed my thing. So, okay, so this is supposed to be 20 seconds, I believe. Okay, so we got it set for 20 seconds. Now we're going to come on top, and we are ready to go. So we're going to set it right on top and hit go. We're going to give it a little bit of pressure that we don't even know if we need. We are at 11 seconds, 10 seconds, and this is the Parsby glitter we haven't tried yet because yesterday we tried the Cricut glitter. There we go. Let's cool it down. Let's cool it down and see if it's ready to be pulled off. So that was 20 seconds. Cooling down, cooling down, cooling down. So let's see if it is almost cooled down. Okay, so now let's see if 20 seconds was good enough. And it appears so. 20 seconds. And the glitter is down. So cute. All right, let me take this back off again now. So next time I will leave that on before I pull it off. I wasn't thinking. Okay, so we got that. Now, let's see. Let's see if you guys can see how sparkly that red is. Is that not super cute? So this shirt is from um, Hobby Lobby, which I forgot to pull the sticker off <laughs> of the front. So the shirt is from Hobby Lobby, and they are $3.99, and they are always 30% off. So you get them for like $2.70 or something like that. Let's say we use about a dollar's worth of vinyl because we still have tons of projects we can do. We still have tons of, tons of each sheet left. So say we have a dollar in vinyl, and then two. So we have like almost $4 in this shirt. You, this shirt right here would cost, at a little boutique, would cost $20 to $26, and you guys know that. Look how cute, guys. I could now make my kids' school clothes. <laughs> They're like, yeah, right, Mom. Okay, so anyways, but I haven't decided yet um, what I want to do on the um, front pocket right here. This is a youth large, by the way. Um, I want to do something right here, and I'm thinking about maybe doing their name with this little pig with the same red glitter and stuff right here, and then doing their name. So I think that's what I may be doing, name underneath pig, something like that. So I haven't decided that yet, but I hope you guys found this super helpful, and um, I definitely love the heat press, and you guys know I did not like, and I love Cricut, but you know I did not like the bright pad. I don't think that was the best idea. But uh, the Easy Press is amazing, and especially with this Steady Betty, works out amazing. And like you guys can see, and it's like this wood. I don't know what it's made out of, but anyways, heat resistant, stays cool. Um, and that's the Parsby's vinyl. I think it worked out really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.